everybody. My name is Stacey J. Johnson. I am a dating, love, and relationship expert for the last nine years. This is my gift. This is what I believe God blessed me to do. Where is my drink, honey? Mm-hmm. Y'all go get your drink now. You guys know I love talking about love and I love talking about marriage. Woo! The whole right? Me helping mostly women, some men, in the areas of positioning themselves. I'm talking about their soul self. I'm not going to be mean to you, but I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm a girl who is going to lift you up and give you hard love. Google me, S-T-A-C-I-I-J-A-E Johnson. Yes, honey. That's who I am. Because I was in finals. Yes, you guys, you all know, if you watch the show every Wednesday, you know that I am getting my master's in marriage and family therapy. Yes, I am going to be a psychotherapist. Yes, but I'm still going to talk like this. I'm still going to talk shit, drink liquor and cuss. Okay, but I am going to be a psychotherapist. Yes, I am. So I start my second year in August and I had my finals in, what class was that? Oh my God, hold on, my old lady is kicking in. Y'all know I'm 51. I had my finals in group counseling, yes. And then I had my finals in, what was that class called? Oh, research methodology. That shit was so hard, y'all. Like, I'm not even playing. I'm not even like, I'm not playing. That research methodology class, I'm just going to keep it 100. I'm in, I'm doing, the, I do the first paper first, the group counseling course, right? Because group counseling, I mean, you know, I do that, right? I do that in groups. I have my IWAGMU, which is I Want a Good Man University. I do that here, right? So the group counseling class, I'm like, okay, we got that. Baby, that research class, honey, let me tell y'all something, honey. Whew, whew, whew. It got to the end where the, the, the um, paper was due on Sunday by 11.59. Now, I'm over it. I'm, I'm like, I need my weekend because we actually started new classes on Monday, a substance abuse class and an assessment testing, womp de womp womp. Needless to say, so I'm like, okay, I am not about to be sitting up here because y'all know I am an overachiever. I love getting my A's, okay? And I was like, I actually started to do the math. I said, okay, so I got an A on the midterm. That's 20% of my grade. If I get a C, I'm just keeping it real. If I get a C on this paper, that's 30% of my grade, okay? The discussion post is 48% of my grade and the homework. So I was like, okay, if I get a C on this paper because everything else was A's, I still get an A. So, honey, I I said, let me tell y'all something. What we're not about to do is keep doing this. Because at the end of the day, people are going to say, did you graduate? And be like, yep. So I turned that paper in. And it was just it. So I got to tell y'all, I I am such an overachiever that even my C's be A's. Because I got an A. (laughs) A, A. Hey, I got an A. Hey, 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 hey. High vibrations only. You guys know this is my um, active wear line. Did you guys know I have an active wear line? It's called um, Divine. Um, what is it called? No, it's called Inspired by Dr. Stacey J. So this is my, you guys know, I teach by four methodologies. You might not know this because you're not in my WAGMU, my inner circle. I want a good man university, but I teach by high vibrations only. Everything is HVO. I teach captivating, endearing, and delightful women. I teach women how to be that. I also teach SOB, surrender, allow, be, right? I teach radiating feminine energy. And which other one, Shalea? Because I saw Shalea was in here. She's in my inner circle, VIP. Oh, be the love you want to attract. So those are all the methodologies that I teach from. And I created an active wear line, you know, because I wanted ladies to represent, right? Because this is a conversation piece. Just imagine you running through the airport. (sighs) 
Oh, here I come on my flight. I might miss my flight. And this guy is like, hi, you, 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 you need any help? You da -da 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 -da. And you flick your hair and you're wearing high vibrations only. Guess what, ladies? That tells something about who you are. So he's like, wow. He already unknowingly is what? Connected. Because he like, whoo, she ain't no Debbie Downer. You see what I'm saying? She thinks HBO. You have HBO. So I wanted to create an activewear line that you can just run through the airport and look all cute and stuff. These are the pants. Can y'all see that? These are the pants. See, it says high vibrations only all down the side. Um, so I wanted to, and then I have radiating feminine energy, but I wanted to cre create an activewear line that is a conversation piece, right? You know, you're running through the airport or you're just standing in line in the mall or whatever, you know, you're running, but it's still something that tells a story of who you are. I digress. Well, how the hell did I get on that shit? I don't know. Anyway, child, how y'all doing? I'm so excited to be here. Oh, oh, one more thing. I do have to talk about this. I know you guys are, Stacey, you're yabbering, gibbering, jabbering, but I don't care. It's my show, so I can do that. R. Kelly, did y'all hear? R. Kelly sentenced to 30 years in prison in federal sex trafficking and abuse case. He locked up, locked down, and ain't never getting out. And as he should for all of the horrible things, y'all. I have to read this. One of these things, did y'all know that he, he did? Hold on. Where's the part about? So basically, this happened today. And there was one lady that said that he may, oh, here it is. According to testimony, who Lord, I'm having an old lady moment. Sorry, y'all not be flashing. According to testimony throughout the trial, Kelly gave several accusers, basically they're saying he gave several accusers herpes without telling them he had an STI. That's the thing. See, the thing about that is if you have something, you got to tell people, just tell. At the end of the day, you got to know how to tell people too. I teach people how to do that. But anyway, you have to know, you, you have to let people know because- I mean, a lot of people have herpes. I'm just saying they do. Um, so just be responsible out there. Okay. Um, coerced a teenage boy to join him in a sexual encounter with a naked girl who emerged from be beneath a boxing ring in his garage. And guess this, guess this. And filmed a video of one victim showing her smearing feces on her face as punishment for breaking one of his many rules. That's a sick motherfucker. I, I'm just saying that. I mean, allegedly, if any of that is true. And hell, some of it must be true because he just got 30 years in jail. So anyway, I digress. You know, guys, I know we're here for coaching, but I have to, you know, when there's something like that happening, I, I got to talk about it. Yeah. And that's the beginning, middle, and end of my talking about R. Kelly. Let's get into some coaching. Yes, honey. So let me tell the new people how I coach. So I get in alignment with the women that come on here. What does that mean? I'm, I'm a spiritual dating coach, y'all. So I'm not the chick that's going to be like, walk like this, talk like this, do this. I'm still flashing. And then you're going to get a man. I'm not that chick. I believe that connection happens from the inside out. What does that mean? That means that we got to work on what's going on on the inside of you. I don't give people gimmicks. I don't say show up at a bar, uh, do shit. I, I don't, if, if you go to a bar, as far as I'm concerned, go because you want to, right? If you meet somebody there, absolutely. But I'm more of a spiritual dating coach. So I need to get into alignment with these ladies. And um, to see what's going on, I don't like to tell them who's going to be first because I'm spiritual. So I had like to ask my spirit because this is my gift. This is a God-given gift that I like to ask God, God, who shall I call first? Tell me. Okay, I know who it's going to be. Da -da 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 -da. Boom. Oh, wait, I can't hear you. Hey. Hi, Shelly. How are you? 
you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good, girl. I literally didn't even look at who it was. I just said, boom. I didn't know which one of y'all it was. Welcome to my show. I was, show. Like that, I was that one person that when your teachers say, uh, ask the question, I'm hiding. Like, don't look at me. Don't look at me. That was me. <laughs> That was and then it always happens because then you're always the one. I was like, as I was doing it, I'm like, Michelle, you just put that energy in the atmosphere. She going she gonna to feel it. So, yeah. She going to feel it because she already told you she's spiritual. Yeah. So welcome I'm on my to journey. I'm on my journey. It's, 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 it's definitely eye-opening, but I'm on that journey. Okay. So I got to get, so you heard me before. So I have to get in alignment with you. Okay. So this is what I need to get a little personal. So I need to know Listen, like age range. I tell people I'm 51. I'll be 52 in January. I don't care, but mm -hmm. some people aren't like that. So you can tell me your age range. Have you ever been married? Do you have mm -hmm. kids? If so, I do want to know the ages of the kids because that mm -hmm. really can tell me how I can, it, it influences how I would coach you. Mm -hmm. Um, if you've ever been married, how long have you been divorced? Or if you're going through a divorce now, I've coached women live with that. And the last thing is, if you if you can share with me any information about your last relationship, situationship, mm -hmm. hell, entanglement, I don't it's, care. Tell you, okay? we got elementary, because I probably remember out of all the things you said, I probably remember the first three, but just, you know, coach me along after yeah, I answer okay. that question. <laughs> So age or age my range. Age. So I, I can tell you my age. I'm very open. I'm proud of my age. I'm 33. I just turned 33 this year. 33. So Aquarius. So you're an Aquarius? What's yes, your birthday? January 22nd. I'm January 31st. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, you okay, have so the birthday as my niece. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Aquarius yeah. are amazing. Okay. So okay. Aquarius, so, so you get me already. <laughs> I do. I do. I love your energy. So um, 33. Tell me mm -hmm. any kids. Yeah, I have one son and he is 11. He'll be 12 soon. Okay. Ever mm -hmm. been married? No. I've been engaged, but I, I we didn't make it to the house. But... Okay. Can, I, can you tell me how long ago that was? Oh, yeah. My son is 11. <laughs> oh, okay. So 11 years ago. And then last last or current situationship relationship entanglement hell i don't know something that has something to do with a man it's like you know it's levels to it what level are we talking the true last or are we talking like the last when i felt something you know what because i do like to get in deep so that i make sure i'm not giving you See, when I'm on Instagram and someone may just ask me a question, that's general because I'm not going to go back and forth with them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. But I really, I pride myself on when a woman comes on a show, you know, I really want to make sure I'm coaching her. So mm -hmm. I do like to dive a little deeper. So if you could give me both, if Listen, you don't mind. Okay. I'm very open. Any of my friends will tell you, I'm that person that would tell you her business just to see your perspective because I like different perspectives. Yes. Um, I really don't care. I mean, I care what people think, but I don't care what people think. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I, do. I care that my family thinks, okay, I'm a great woman. I'm a positive. You know, I care what that happens. But regular people, baby, you're not paying the bill, the car <laughs> note, the mortgage. Baby, thank you. You know, I accept your feedback. Feedback is a gift. So, you know, I accept it. And that's yes. Just Yes. Okay. So give me both then. Tell me the okay, so, last one that you had feelings for and tell me the last one that you did. Situationship. Go ahead. Um, The last one I had feelings for. Um, How long ago was it too? I want to know that too. Uh, let me drink some water, child. Oh. Okay. Well, I, 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 the alcohol over here. I already was taking some sips, so I had to drink a little water. Okay. So I'm going to give you the, you know, short podcast friendly version um okay. but no honestly uh so i bought my house in 2018 so i would say 2018 2019 um okay. as far as like the last feelings now it's not necessarily like who i love the most but it was the last feelings and um, what did you enjoy about that man tell me what was the main attraction with him and what happened um i think what was attracted to me is as an Aquarius, like I'm a giver by nature. I'm a people pleaser. So I always find myself, and I like to call it these I relationships instead of we relationships. I relationships are a person that's always I, 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 instead of thinking, okay, for the collective, you know, what are we going to do or what are, you know, our schedule. 
So I think with him, he was the first we type of man in the sense of I actually felt like I could be a submissive woman because he did things without me having to ask. It was literally if, if, you know, he see my car, you know, doesn't have any gas, he'll go get it, fill it up, bring it back. Um, the first time he met my son and he was, I didn't mean for him to meet my son, but when I bought my house, this man came down my very first time seeing him since we met initially was him with a U-Haul for, you know, some items that he saw and he moved my entire apartment, him and my dad. I didn't touch a thing. Wow. Um, that's good stuff. Let I me, mean, I want to, I want to stop yeah, you but, there. Cause a lot of times, and this is for everyone watching too. That's really important. I don't, I'm, I'm the type person you'll get to know me, Shelly, is mm -hmm. that I'm not as much looking at coaching you to be with that man, right. but I want you to know where your flowers are. And I right. want to give you your flowers. Your flowers in that relationship is mm -hmm. that from that first moment, you allowed him to be your Superman. Right. A lot of women have a problem with relinquishing control mm -hmm. and allowing a man to give and them to receive because so much of society says, well, if he give you that, he gonna right. want that. And right. to me, that's not every man. And why concern yourself with that man until you know who he is? So good for you that you allowed him to, you allowed yourself to receive. So go ahead. I want to, and that's literally more for the ladies watching. Allow yourself, if a man wants to show up and do something for you, allow him to. Yes, there are guys out there will, who will feel like you got to do this for this, but give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay, go ahead. Um. So yeah, he was, like you said, he was that type of person. He was someone, you know, that was my first time meeting him. And then the first time he met my son, I think through conversation, because he, he doesn't live in, you know, he doesn't live in the same city. He lives from mm -hmm. my hometown. I met him when I was just, you know, back home. Um, so not only did he drive out of town to move me, you know, let me make sure I get from his flowers. Um, through conversation, I think I kept saying, dang, I got to get shoes. You know how just women, we're chatting. And a lot of times I speak out loud. So if I'm driving by the mall, I'm like, dang, I was supposed to, you know, X, Y, Z. And the first time he, um, while he was moving me, that's when he met my son. And so I pull up home because I was at work and then was moving it. And I told my dad at the time, the school was right across the street. So my dad could walk and, you know, get, get my son. Mm -hmm. So I come home from work, you know, I already knew that he was here. So I'm like in my head, okay, I'm my son, you know, you know, you know, right. Mm -hmm. So I get home and my son is not there. I'm like, dad. Where's Peyton? You know, he's like, oh, you know, so and so, you know, took him to the mall. So first of all, you know, I had to tell my dad, listen here, man. You know, come on, like I know he he not this man just move. He ain't about to do nothing to your child, but still, you know, people crazy. Just heard the R. Kelly, right, so, you right. Know, you know, I ain't lying. I was really mad. I got in the car and as I was driving to the mall, cause I was about to lie. Um, mm -hmm. he was coming. They were like coming back into the, you know, the um subdivision or whatever. And so I'm rolled down the window. I'm like. Why you, you know, don't, you know, I'm just like going off. Like, don't do that. You need to make sure that's all right. Me, you know, just being a concerned mom. Absolutely. And that's, that's all I got. And he was like, I, you know, I heard you earlier. I just saw and, you know, got him some shoes. My baby had a seat full of stuff. Wow. I was like, damn, I love this man or no. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, so Shelly, hold on, hold on. Fast forward. So you all, he helps you move. This was 2019. He helps you move. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. what, how long did you all date? How long, what happened? Mm. Um, what happened was I had to choose my child. Mm. And by saying that, his lifestyle. And I, you know, his lifestyle. What do you mean? Your guy? Oh, the ex, the guy's lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was fast money, all of that type thing. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. And, you know, I thought it wasn't nothing serious, but it was serious. Mm -hmm. I got to choose my baby because at the end of the day, I'm raising a black man in America. You yes. know, I, you know, I don't want that to be what he's used to seeing. You know what I'm yes. saying? want him yeah. to think if I need to get a quick dollar, let me do, 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 do. 
No, I want him to understand that, you know, hard work. You know what I'm saying? I want him to understand hard work. I want him to understand how the society in which he yes. lives. Yes. You know, I want him to understand how the system works to beat the system. You understand? Yes. I think. Oh, my gosh. Such I'm an amazing this. choice. Good for you, okay. sis. Yeah. So that was hard. Right. Because, you know, this was my first house. Like a few months after I had a major flood where I had to gut the third and second level. It was it could have been easy. I could have and it would have been done. Yeah. But it's like, Michelle. Yes. When you have a child, it's mm. no longer about you. So, it, you know, what I'm saying it hurt my heart. Like it took me a little minute. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, that's just something that I had to. I had to do, I had to choose my child instead of me and just pray that, you know, there is someone that's for me. And yes, yeah. yes. So yeah. let me give you your flowers again. First off, you chose your child, but also you chose yourself too. Because at the end of the day, after the nice shoes and after all of that stuff, We've all seen the stories. It's, it's not something that we have to right. see it again, right? right? We know the lifestyle and what comes with mm -hmm. either today, tomorrow, the next, or next year. We know where that goes, right? right? So it's good you chose yourself. Another time, I have to give you your flowers. Because oh, at the you. end of the day, that wasn't going to be what you wanted. It wasn't not for your son and definitely not for you. Let me just say, like, I know how the status quo go, but mm -hmm. that was a good man. That was a good man. I have no complaints, no aggressiveness, nothing. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Can so I that, tell you this, oh, sis? Can I'm I tell like, you? God, am I, am I, am I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just. No, but can I tell you this, sis? I'm about to level yeah. you out. <laughs> I'm about to level you out and every all the other sisters that feel like the, it was a good man. Let me tell you what a good man is. Mm -hmm. A good man is in alignment with a hundred percent of the man that you need. Gotcha. That is a good man. That is a good man for somebody else. Right. Just because he had all of the characters, traits, that one thing, it, 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 it's not the man for you. Right. And let me tell you this, lean in a little closer. I tell this to all my girls. <laughs> At the same millisecond mm -hmm. that his daddy and his mama, the semen met the sperm, right? Mm -hmm. And all other sperm in the semen. You know what I'm saying? The, the mm -hmm. semen met the egg, right? And all the other stuff was happening. And then boom. Do you know how many men were created at that same second all across the world. That is the God. So you have to, you, that is the God that we serve. So you have to know at the end of the day, even if you call your God Buddha, Allah, I don't even care, whatever it is, whatever your higher power is, just mm -hmm. know that there were so many more men created like that. So I don't want okay. you to feel like you lost anything. If anything, you gained a sense of integrity for yourself and what mm -hmm. and standing on what you really deserve. You deserve peace of mind, sis. Because right. that, at the oh. end of the day... It's an anxiety for me, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I worry. I'm a worrier. I'm an Aquarius. I'm a control freak who, who learned to let go of control. And you know what I'm saying? So, ooh, it was a growing experience. But, so, yeah. let's, so let's get into this. So... Mm -hmm. That was the last one that you cared about. Tell mm -hmm. me about the other one because it was twofold. Tell me about the last okay. relationship then. <laughs> Listen, so I'm an Aquarius. So yes. I track now. I track everything. I have a calendar for everything. I was just like, you know, dang, when was the last time? Oh, no, because I feel like I'm too young. I'm too pretty to not be as active as I, I should, but I am also too much in my head, so I won't allow myself. Yes. So anyway, this was the one time that I was like, listen, honey, it's time for all change. So <laughs> I just had a little tune up. So how long ago was that? Damn, like a month ago. So that was, so since 2018, 19, with this guy that you <laughs> did really care about, it, this last 
thing was more of a more physical thing. And there hasn't been anybody in between outside of little physical things, right? Um, Has it been anybody special? It has. Okay. Tell me about him. I'm trying to, this is what I'm trying to do, Cheryl. I'm trying to get an alignment <laughs> with because I got a couple of we're going to go rapid fire a little bit quicker because I want to okay. make sure I get to the other lady but I'm mm -hmm. trying to get in alignment with how you choose lovers and what you like so tell me about this last guy it's Not a girl. The, go ahead it's a girl okay so tell me about the last girl <laughs> the, well the girl the so um again I, I was going through my journey uh -huh. And at this time, I was just like, I don't understand. Like, I just was like, maybe I'm not meant to be with a man. Because, you know, I'm looking at Ellen. They happy. I'm looking at all these lesbian couples. Uh -huh. Like, you know, these women look good. They look peaceful. So, you know, I've always been attracted to a beauty of a woman. Like, yeah. you know, and I like the strip clubs, baby. Let's go. Yeah. But I've never, like, experimented or anything. Uh -huh. But I'm like, I've grown them in my bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've done all the things that you're supposed to do. Masters. I, so when you're talking about your classes, honey, it took me three three times to get out of that same class. So I understand. <laughs> um, but you know what I'm saying? So I've done all the stereotypical things that, you know, we should do. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I had a health scare where I had a TIA, just stress and everything else. So I just told myself, God, if you let me, you know what I'm saying, make it through this. Cause I had a, a um, pulmonary embolism in 2014, and then I had the TIA 2019. What's a TIA? Uh, it's a stroke. It's a mini stroke. Oh wow! Yes. Take, this. Take it easy, 33. Come on. This thing, I know. All right? right. So hold on. So hold on. Let's get into this relationship with yeah, this girl. I gotta, I'm gonna give you the little back. I gotta give you the back. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, I was going through an awakening, and I wanted to see what it was like. You know what I'm saying? To date a woman because of the emotional um, and the you know, just the companion. I feel like it was almost like the guy where I felt like somebody was taking care of me. Not uh -huh. because they have to or they need to, but because they genuinely wanted to. So anyway, I was out at a bar, saw her. I approached her and um, I really, really just did it. Just like I thought that was going to be it. Like, I'm not lying. Honest to God, I really didn't think the girl was gonna call me you know i bought her a drink was like this is my number you should call right i'm like oh my gosh i don't believe that but she called so i'm like and how long did you guys date mm, maybe six months six months tell me what did you learn from that relationship it was a mirror of myself everything that a man used to complain about that i didn't understand where they'd be like you nagging and i just I did not understand what they meant. Mm -hmm. I understand because I felt like in that relationship, I was the man. Like, mm. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. Okay. I can't hear you. Let's see. Okay, guys, can you still hear me, everybody? Okay, wait, let's see. Hello? One second. One second. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Say yes. I can't hear you. Okay, so they can hear me. I can't hear you, Michelle. Okay. 
All right, let's see. Nope. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to let, we can hear you, but we can't hear her. Okay. Let's see. Shelly. No, what happened? Um. Ask Shelly to call back. Okay. So Shelly, go out and come back in. Click off and come back in. Okay, guys. So sorry about that. So um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm, uh, let's see here. It's 833. I'm going to give her two minutes to come back in, and then we're going to go to Joyce. But the biggest thing that I can tell you about Shelly. Okay, let's see. I bet. Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> okay, so really rapid fire because we do okay. want to get to Joyce. So then you were in a relationship with this woman for six months and you learned basically she was a mirror of you. You mm -hmm. learned about basically, uh, it seems like what men say about women and or what you were to men, you learned. Mm -hmm. okay. So then, so that's a good thing. But, so she just, but we just decided to be friends. because. Okay, but this is the yeah. thing. It doesn't matter. That's okay. what every relationship teaches you something about yourself mm -hmm. so for you you were going to the other side not because you were gay or anything it mm -hmm. was just because you felt like the the grass was greener on the other side which you found out really people were people it people doesn't are matter people man or matter. woman everybody has their yes. shit yes. but the biggest thing i think <laughs> that you learned was you needed that mirror image so that yes. then in your next relationship, Thank you God. would understand who you were. So let, let I'm, I'm about to go really quick with you. How long ago was that again? Um, That was last year. Okay, last year. What? Okay, so you learned that, so that's good. What has, ha there hasn't been any consistency mm -hmm. with anyone since then? Uh-uh. Okay, and your son is 11. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I told you I'm a spiritual coach. Hold on one second. What is something I'm going to go really fast now. What is something that men have consistently told you about yourself? Or what do you think the problem with you connecting since this last 2018 connection where you really did like this guy? Um, I will not allow myself to be vulnerable. Okay, well. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Why did you allow yourself to be vulnerable to the 2018 guy? And wait, how long did that? Hold on, hold on. I'm going to go really fast. How mm -hmm. long did that last? On and off for uh, a couple of years. Okay. On and mm -hmm. off for a couple of years. And the off was basically because you were, you didn't want to go all the way in because you were always concerned about you and your son's situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what were, give me five character traits of the guy that you liked in 2018. Um, romantic. Um, I felt safe or, I don't know, protective. Mm -hmm. Um, sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Um, he made me feel like a woman. Okay. That's enough. You... That, 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 that's enough. Hold on. <laughs> What and where did you all originally meet? In my hometown. Uh, what At were you doing? Station, we were. It's this um, this place called like um, and, and I'm from Savannah, so it's a small town. So it's like this uh, gas station that has like gourmet food. So like after the clubs, whatever, everybody go there. Okay. And, um, I okay. I don't need the detail. I don't need. The detail. <laughs> I just want to know, were you out the house? Okay. Oh, or yes. was it an introduction from somebody? No. Okay. So hold on. Hold on, Shelly. Hold on. Hmm. Vulnerability. So I can tell you this. If you, what is the fear of vulnerability? Why are you scared to be vulnerable? Because I lost my mom at 12 and I don't ever want to feel kind of pain. But with this guy, there was a certain level of vulnerability that you were with him. Because I didn't even know it was happening. I he. It was some, I don't even know. I just looked up and it was like, damn. Okay, uh-uh, uh-uh, yeah. hold on, hold on. <laughs> was it happening because, hold on. Was it happening because he was showing up in the character of the people that you, the, the person that you really wanted? Meaning a bunch of the, the, the character <laughs> traits that you, 
Right. Okay. So hold on, baby. This, this is the thing. So the biggest thing that I think I can give you is first mm -hmm. of all, I want you to take the, I'm scared to be vulnerable tag off of your forehead. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's that. I believe that when you see something to be that you feel safe with, you're vulnerable. Mm -hmm. You just haven't seen anything that you're safe with, that you feel Ooh. safe with. You're right. So then I don't want you to, and, and, and this is why this is so important. Again, I'm a huge manifester, right? Right. So if you're walking around with the tag of, I'm scared to be vulnerable, mm -hmm. you've accepted, that's not your shit. That's not right. what it is. You're not vulnerable because you have not met anyone that you Who feel me that makes you feel safe. Now, this is yeah. the thing. I want you to understand where safety comes from, all right, mm -hmm. for a woman, all right? It's not that he makes you feel safe immediately because men don't know you initially. So mm -hmm. you may not be looking at the things that will make you know that this is a man that'll make you feel safe. So I think that's yeah. your gift tonight. So when you meet a guy, right, first of all, don't go to the serious shit. Just have fun. When I tell you have Yo, fun. Everybody tells me that I don't understand what that means. I, that I means, not. that means, that means, listen, my love, because I'm going to have to go to this 839. Listen, take your hands off the steering wheel and just let it go. You're an Aquarius. I know exactly that is definitely hard, but you have to every day tell yourself, I'm not going to steer this thing. As far as relationships, as far as your life, your kid and all of that, your career. Absolutely. Be in all that masculine ass energy, right? <laughs> Sorry, hot, hot flash. But when you are dating, you mm -hmm. have to just flow. You and it, it's not the 10, 13, 19,000 questions. You have to flow. When I tell you that, when mm -hmm. I, I I cannot stress that enough. Dating is about having fun, mm -hmm. pulling back the layers. Only when the layer presents itself. What do I mean? You're on a date, right? <laughs> y'all having fun, y'all laughing. You like, I need to know if this nigga ever been married or want to get married again, right? You don't just bring that up. You want to <laughs> get married? When you want to get married? And y'all talking about traveling. You see what I'm saying? It's like, damn. I, man, I ain't saw that stuff earlier. Yeah, but, but that's what I'm saying. That That's not sexy. I that's know, I know. That's not sexy. So you got to, hold on, hold on. Especially when at the end of the day, you're still not about to be vulnerable to him anyway, unless he makes you feel safe. So let me, let's get to the safety part. Cause I can't, I can't do a whole hour with you. Cause then that would be disrespectful to the other lady. So let me let you know, you have to sob. What is sob? Surrender, allow, be. I know it's going to be hard. It's a whole, mm -hmm. like, it's something that I understand as an Aquarius. It's not even as an Aquarius, as a woman, it's hard to do, especially when you mm -hmm. are the ruler of your world. But Here just remember, is. hold on, surrender, allow, be. The second thing, the biggest gift that I have to tell you mm -hmm. is that the way you know if a man can make you feel safe has to do with how he manages his life. So meaning mm -hmm. not how he manages you or if, because he don't know you like that initially, like right. you're just a girl, a pretty girl, right? You mm -hmm. know, with a pretty smile. I'm sorry. That's it. That's all they see. Okay. Mm -hmm. But until they get to know you. So how, you know, if he is going, if he deserves you to be is how he manages his life. Right. Is, you see what I'm saying? Is he a, <laughs> 50 year old, 40 year old man who still don't understand or got a pot to piss in. Correct. If he ain't, girl, that ain't going to be safe for you. Okay? okay. He can have a dream, but is that dream being manifested? Okay. If, if not that he, there's no way. I'm because, gonna waste my time. I can't, I'm in the stage okay. of my life. I got to know where you at in life before so I even. Then, so then now this is the thing. <laughs> If if he has a dream and he is working on that dream, for me. that no no no, and and there is some fruit from that dream, then guess what? That's like if, if he's an entrepreneur and he has a business and working on it, yeah, that's different. No, that's what I'm saying. That's oh, what I'm okay. saying. It doesn't, he doesn't I, have. To. I'm from a small town. You don't want to know some of their dreams. I'd be like, what? No, 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 no. So that's not the thing. So hold on, hold on, because I gotta close out because it's eight forty three and we've been on here way way longer than usual 
So what did you learn from this session? Um, I learned that it's not that I can't be vulnerable. It's that I value safety. And when someone makes me feel safe, then I subconsciously or whatever, I become vulnerable. Yes. But I learned stop putting, um, stop uh, manifesting negativity by saying that I don't want to be vulnerable. But I think yes. we fixed that with the other one. Mm -hmm. Um, and the other one is just me sob. What you said? Yes, uh, stop. The, Surrender. Yeah. Allow. Be. It yeah, is that, going. Try. <laughs> or at least try. Or, or or join my university, and we'll teach you exactly how to do that. Okay. But that you have to be vulnerable. You have to. But I do understand safety is important for you. So mm -hmm. you want to know that you're safe before you allow yourself to just open up. So mm -hmm. I. I, I get it. I get it. All right. Did you have another question? No, I'm good. This you good. are? Okay. Good stuff. Well, love and light. Thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle Shelley. You, it says yeah. Shelley. Yeah. Oh. You know, he knows the corporate name Shelley. You know I'm an Aquarius. It's two of us. So okay. I Shelley out today. Okay. Some real me. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Shelly. Love and light. And please, if you want me to be your love coach continuously, go to justdategirl.org. That is my mm -hmm. university. And then look me up. All right. All right. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Yay. Oh my God, y'all. It is 8:44. We gotta go directly into Joyce. Bam! Oh my God, Joyce. I spent so much time with the other young lady. I'm so sorry. So let's okay. get right into this thing. Okay. So, okay. So, you know, basically, first of all, you look good. Thank um, you. So, you know, basically how I coach, I need mm -hmm. to know, I need to get an alignment with who you mm -hmm. are. So okay. tell me, um, age or age range. Okay. Children, ever been married, married now going through a divorce, whatever it is last relationship situationship or if you're presently in something right now okay so i'm 56 i'll be 57 in august so i'm hold a little on, hold on hold on child hold on no you're not uh, yeah i am and um let's see i was married 24 years i'm divorced no um i've been it'll be two years in november and let's see Let's see what else did you want to know? La uh, was that your last relationship? Yes, that was my last relationship. Yes, and okay. um, and since then, have yes. you dated? Have you not dated? Are oh, you? Oh yes. Dating? Oh yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. So tell me about that journey back into dating after twenty some years. Right. I think that has been the biggest challenge for me because you know I've been off the market a long time and things have changed so much. Mm -hmm. Just everything you know when i was dating you know everybody was you know calling folks on the phone and hey what's going on you meet them at the club you know that kind of thing and now it's a whole different world and then of course i became single during COVID, so that that added a whole different you know element because obviously you know you're not going anywhere and and on top of that um, once, so I'm originally from Seattle and once I got divorced, I was like, why am I staying here? Oh, and I have an adult son. He's 24. So okay. yes, yes. And he's back in Washington and I moved to Houston all by myself and didn't know anybody. Oh my God. I love, first of all, let me give you your flowers. Okay. I love that you, you said, fuck it. I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do something different all the way different. And I'm going to jump out here. That says a lot about you. And I can tell you that is an attractive quality for the right man. I can, right. oh my God. Yes. Because it shows that although you are a mature woman like myself, I'm 51, I'll be 52 in January. Mm -hmm. There is still some adventure about yes. you and you're not scared. So go ahead. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. So, yeah. So I did that, you know, just being crazy. And, um, and, you know, and I, I did that because I felt like you know, a lot of people say it's a chapter and I look at it as a book. I feel like my marriage was a book. So now I'm writing a new book for myself. And in order for me to write my new book, I needed to do it all on my terms. And I wanted a fresh start with that. So that meant- so Are everything. you retired? Are you still working? What no, is I that? still work. I still work in everything. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, so I did that. And so this is, so Houston is my new book. And so I'm writing that now. And, okay, um, so, hold and on. 
go ahead. Let me ask you, mm -hmm. when was your last date? Um, Saturday. Saturday. So you're dating dating. Oh, like of course. You're... Yes, she I is. Okay. Yes. So uh, you know what with you, I think, because... I want you to tell me what do you want me to help you with? Because my mind is clicking, girl. Like I, like you are my project right now. Like I want you. Like I can see so many beautiful things for you right now. Like I can tell you, first of all, you're gonna get everything that you want. Let me tell you why. No, no, no. You are because you're fearless. So that means that you're you are my perfect client. What do I mean? Or my perfect co coaching person here? You are you are at such a place in your life to where you're ready for change mm -hmm. and you don't want you to stop you. A lot of times people are still at the place in their life where they, their you is stopping them. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I can tell right now, your you, you are like fearless. I'm, I'm, my you is not, I'm about to see what is out here. I'm gonna do it. She tell me to do it. I'm gonna do it. And hey, just because you told me after 24 years of marriage, you decided to move, not just across, you move like that. Like you <laughs> went, you see what I'm saying? Like I want all of the new, new. Right. So for me, you are, ask me, I, I am yours. I'm even going to go after nine o'clock just for you. Cause I, I want to pour into you. Like, yeah. for real. well, I mean, so you kind of asked about relationship or something like that. Um, I've definitely dated. I've been, um, very, um, you know, being being a new woman out here. Now, the person that I would say I had the the most emotional attachment to, he was the second man I met when I moved to Houston. Because I've been in Houston since February 2021, and I didn't officially start dating until like April. And I think you know, April 2021. Of yes, 2021. Yes. So it's and, been a year and a couple of months. Okay. Right. 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 And um. And it's so funny because my ex was younger than me. And, you know, once I decided to start dating, because at that time, like I said, it was COVID. So I went on a date. And so I was like, well, let me see what this is about. So then he and I, we connected on the dating site. And there was just something about him that just really connected with me. The one thing that I told myself this time in a man, I would, I wanted an intellectual man. I wanted a man that I could talk to about anything and he would understand it and he would challenge me and he would say things to me I didn't know and I would learn from him. And that's what I got from him. He was very successful and he had a really good career. And and when I first got here, I was having challenges with finding a job and just, you know, just settling in, missing my family. And he was so, so supportive and he was cheering me on. He was like, you, you can do this. He would be like, did you submit your resume? Did you follow up? I mean, he was like that that cheerleader I needed. at the What time. line of work was he? He was an um, investor stockbroker. Got it. Okay. So yeah. what happened with that relationship then? Well, um, with that, it was just, I wouldn't say it was a relationship. It was a situationship. He had a lot going on in his life. Mm -hmm. And for me, I kept pulling back on a relationship because I, in my head, I was like, you just got out of a long marriage. Mm -hmm. You don't need to jump back into nothing. You need Good to figure figures. this out. And don't let another man tie you down. You need to do this on your terms in your own time. So what have you, oh, I love you. So what have you learned about yourself since you, because these are some questions that if you haven't asked yourself, and I actually think you probably have, what is the biggest thing that you have learned about you, Joyce, being this new Joyce versus Ooh. that old Joyce? Wow. Wow. Is it, it's literally like when you said I'm fearless mm -hmm. and I take chances that I didn't know I could do. Mm -hmm. um, I've also learned on how much I need. I need a man to nurture me as much as I nurture him. Like I, I need to be fed with with this reciprocal feelings of just making me feel wanted and cared for. So stop right there. Stop mm -hmm. right there. I got something for you. Mm hmm. A man is not going to. So this is the thing, my love. Mm -hmm. Men have journeys too. Mm -hmm. Men have been hurt. Mm -hmm. Men have been lied to. Men have been cheated on. Men have been married probably by our age 
and mm -hmm. scared because of whatever shock from their previous relationship right. that they literally, because usually when a good man chooses to get married, they really are like, I ain't trying to do this shit no more. Mm -hmm. And something didn't happen out, right, wrong, or indifferent. You never know, right? So right. you have to know that mm -hmm. men, the biggest thing for you, I would say, is going to be learning a man. Not mm -hmm. understanding him, but mm -hmm. learning him. This is okay. why. Mm -hmm. Because men have journeys. Mm -hmm. So they're not mm -hmm. going to just show up and nurture you. Right. That's true. They're not. They're going, there has to be a connection to you. There has to be something that they see themselves trusting. They mm -hmm. see themselves not being judged. Mm -hmm. See themselves being a person being receptive. I call it receptivity to who they mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. And that is a journey. The yes. only person you can control nurturing you right. is you. Right. No, no, I think you're right. All well, right. And it's, and it's funny you say that because with the person I was telling you about, I mean, he, you know, slowly he would open up and tell me things. And he was like, I'm telling you stuff no one else knows or I've never talked to anyone about. So I feel like I gave him the space where he could open up and and it was mutual so we both i mean i talked to him about things i probably wouldn't have you know because so what happened what happened then i know is you know is it was it was a lot it was a lot and what's so funny is to this day i mean we're still we still really care about each other and we still look out for each other um he's just so much younger than me and and for me i have so to be really 14 20, years. 14 years. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, and he wants a family. And I mean, those are, you know, and being a realistic woman, those are things I can't give him. You know, so then this is what I want you to do. This mm -hmm. is what, because I can still tell that there is some, why can't he just be closer to my age that lives inside? Yes, of it is. That's yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I can feel my spirit says she's like, but this is what I want you to know, my love. Mm -hmm. Dating is a journey. Yeah. When 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 a, a person when you like something about a person, instead of saying it needs to be the person, mm -hmm. say, "Wow, that's some light that shows me that exists." Yes, yeah. and allow it to fuel you mm -hmm. forward in mm -hmm. knowing that, "Wow, that part mm -hmm. that I want exists." Yeah. Right. And and the other part is not what you want. So mm -hmm. no sacrifice, especially okay. something as big as that. He wants right. kids and we know you are like, baby, I want to travel and oh. have sex and have sex and travel. Yeah, 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 the door, yeah, the door is closed. Right. Yeah, no, so then no. When you, so then for you, you have to know, and even the women watching, that when a man presents some things that you like about him, and but there are some things that you don't, some mm -hmm. deal breaking things like right. he wants kids and you don't. Of course. It, 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 this is the thing. Enjoy the journey, mm -hmm. but you know, okay, this ain't him. This ain't yeah. him. But wow, it's so good knowing right. that that part of what I want exists. All yes. right. Yeah. So then I want you, hopefully, tonight to take that block away because right. I think because you're, you are kind of still in the why, damn it, damn yeah. it. I have to move, yeah. to where that blocks you from your possibility, from okay. what's in front of you, because okay. you have up this wall that's mm -hmm. saying, oh, my God, that was so good. I mean, he yeah. was so great. Right. But mm -hmm. I want you to know. And I told the last lady that the same millisecond that the sperm met the egg with him in an age appropriate way right. that you want your man to be who mm -hmm. wants to travel and see the world and nothing mm -hmm. holding him back and mm -hmm. having the freedom and the flexibility to do all of that that man is for you this is the beautiful part and i i really pray to god that you really take what i'm saying seriously to know my dear that you have manifested even a glimpse of what you want there's some women out there that can't even see it because the negativity of whatever the past is mm -hmm. just, it, it just, they just can't get past niggas ain't shit. This, 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 so-and-so, so-and-so, my baby dad ain't paying nothing. So-and-so, so-and-so. Right. You, it's to win. It's that 
that blocks them mm -hmm. from getting anything else. Mm -hmm. But at least you have seen a glimpse of what you want. So yeah. hopefully tonight from me saying what I said, mm -hmm. let's, let's, let's embrace that, yeah. right? Let's mm -hmm. wake up in the morning and let's feel good about that. Let's put good energy with that. Mm -hmm. And then say, God, okay, I'm ready for the next part. I'm mm -hmm. ready for the next part of the guy. Because mm -hmm. I know if we got this, then you're going to show me this. And okay. we're going to put them together. And then wham, you're going to be traveling the world. You're going to be seeing shit. You might have some grandkids because he got some old ass children somewhere. And you know what I'm saying? You might have some grandkids, but still you guys yeah. are building your next part of life together. Let's right. put good energy with that. Cause I really, I, I really like who you are. Like I really, and I, and I don't want to get emotional. My girls in here know that, but I really like the person that you are. Oh, you have you. lived, no, you have lived a, I can tell you have lived a life that is, it's been a good life. Mm -hmm. It's been a blessed life. Mm -hmm. And it's been a life that honestly has, has given you the courage to do what you're doing now. Mm -hmm. And I don't want this guy and his glimpse of what God has for you mm -hmm. to shut the rest that God has for you down. You truly can have the desires of your, like you are right there. Like I feel it, but just let go of that part and take the glory that he gave you with you and say, okay, God, what's next? Keep your prayers high, stay connected and please keep your energy. Your energy has to be in, ooh, this is so good. And what's next? Cause I know if you gave me this, you can give me this. Yes. You can give me this. It, you can't mm -hmm. tell me that this is it when, no, I want this. And yeah. I want, you see what I'm saying? So yes. I want you to just continue to dream and live that beautiful life that you are building. Like, I really genuinely like you. You oh, got thank it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's all I got for you. You can ask me anything you want. Like I said, I can go over nine. Like, but that's really, that's my spirit is very like, full for you right now so here's my thing okay how so what i'm having challenges with is connecting with my men in my age group so what, what what's going on with me like what why am i what was or what's what's the deal with men in my age group yes so i can tell you that 56 I, and i'm just gonna be totally transparent i'm 51 right and i look at some of the brothers that graduated from morehouse you know, because I graduated from Spelman, and I'd be like, where the, where, that can't be you. Like, that can't, brother, that, that can't be you. I can tell you at homecoming, I'd be like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's you. Like, my face be like, damn. Yes. Like, for real. Yeah. Because life has hit them in a way that it hasn't hit me. Yeah. So I would say, again, we have to take that block down. And just mm -hmm. keep the, the, the thing about manifestation and God giving us the desires of our heart is that no matter what appears right now, we have to stay in the feel good of, mm -hmm. I know God ain't going to fail me. I know, mm -hmm. I know, it. I, I just know it isn't. There's some life things that I can tell you. So that's the spiritual part of that. No okay. matter what is being presented to you today, keep your spirit elevated to where I know there's more. I right, know God right. because I'm active. I can't be the only active person. So then what you want to do is make sure you're living a vibrant life, doing the things that you love to do mm -hmm. as a 56 year old woman, whether mm -hmm. it's cycling, whether you're golfing, whether you're playing ping pong, whether you're playing bowling. Mm -hmm. So get yourself in those groups, right? Mm -hmm. With those people in your age range who are doing those things. Now, what is your mm -hmm. age range? To me, honestly, girl, at 56, with your 56, which is looking like 40, 49, 48, then I think that, I mean, why a, a 48, 50, 49, 50 year old man is a grown man. Right, right, right. And and that's what I've been kind of dating recently. Okay, like good. That so, age range. I, yeah. so then I would say, then put yourself into, as you grow your life in Houston, mm -hmm. put yourself into some groups that are, you're doing things that you genuinely like doing. Not okay. some shit that you're, or some things that you have wanted to learn, but you don't know mm -hmm. how to do. 
in your age group. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So then, because there are plenty of people, I cycle. I have a bicycle and I cycle. Them old men be out there cycling, honey, and them bodies be popping. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then there's the old man out there who eating Popeyes all day. I'm just saying, I don't do that group. I'm just saying, you see what I'm saying? So then yeah. I would say, put yourself in some age appropriate groups that are doing activities that you like. Also those travel groups. Sometimes mm -hmm. you have those single travel groups and things like that. I, 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 I would just say, build your life from where you are okay. doing things that you enjoy and mm -hmm. activities with, because I'm sure they got the 20 year old cyclers. No, but you want mature people who are cycling or right. mature people who exactly. So put yourself into some groups. Okay. You got it. You're going to be married in the next two years. Really? You're going to be either married or engaged. Okay. Yeah, because I, I don't feel any, and I could be wrong, I don't feel any heavy masculine energy that's usually the thing i don't feel any i feel a very okay i'll try it yeah oh masculine, yeah definitely. yeah i feel a, okay masculine energy is oh, wait hold on so what you saying <laughs> like i'll do it but wait okay explain that to me you see what i'm saying you yeah. like it. okay tell me i'll do it yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And, and to me, that is very feminine. That is very, that means that you are surrender, allow, be. You don't have any, you're in the try me. I'll try it. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. tell me what to do. I'll do it. Okay. And that's a beautiful place to be, which okay. means that you are more attractive energy wise mm -hmm. to men. You're more okay. of a men magnet and you don't probably even know it because you like, yeah, I'll try that. <laughs> I'll try that too. Yeah, I can kind of, yeah. I received that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so stay in that energy. Stay in that energy. Right. Join some groups in mm, Houston. That's a good idea. Yeah, join some groups in Houston. And mm -hmm. please just know that if God gave you a glimpse mm -hmm. of this thing that he gave you with this guy mm -hmm. who's 14 years younger, mm -hmm. then what would God be? if he can't give you the rest. Mm -hmm. Right, right. It don't even make no sense. That's not the mm -hmm. God that we like, what? Right? Mm -hmm. That's so true. Stay, stay high vibrations. Mm -hmm. I do this thing every morning called Good Manifestation Morning. I see that, yeah. yeah I it's 7 a.m. Yeah. We only do it 15 minutes, but it could be something to just keep your energy raised mm -hmm. as you go outside. So mm -hmm. that then you, you it puts you in the mindset of, Yes, I am manifesting the greatest love story I can imagine. It's kind of like I want to be women's partners as they move out because I see a lot of women just when you leave your house negative about mm -hmm. love because the baby daddy ain't paid the mm -hmm. shit that he was supposed to do what he did or the last Negro cheated on you. Mm -hmm. Then for me, I'm saying, yes, that all happened, but it's all useful. Let's still take some positive mm -hmm. energy out. So mm -hmm. maybe you just want to maybe tune into that raise mm -hmm. that vibration with mm -hmm. intention and do your life. Mm -hmm. I, I really think that um, I feel really good things from you. Yeah. Well, and I think what I've been operating on after, you know, my big life change is I've looked at everything as it's either a lesson or a blessing and either way I win. I, th 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 this is why I told you you about to be married in three, two, three. <laughs> like when I, 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 let me say engage in two years. Like you see what you just said? It's either a lesson or a blessing. That's good energy, baby. That's good energy. That woman is ready. It's okay. either a lesson. Do you know I don't meet many women who say that? Because mm -hmm. I always say no matter the matter, it's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Just think, and instead of it being a block, mm -hmm. it's good. Mm -hmm. Take your fist down, surrender, and have fun. For real, mm -hmm. you know, I would say maybe join my university if you want to, if you want to, we have an amazing sisterhood. You okay. Know, you know what I'm saying? That might be something to just really, because you get more of this, if you get more of me right. Right. to you daily, then yeah. it keeps you aligned rather than right. the world when you go outside. Mm -hmm. That might be the usefulness of, and you actually might understand how to date more. You might be learning current men more then yeah. um you know what i'm saying so it mm -hmm. might help you in that way 
Yeah. Um, we, I would say if you do plan to join, don't join until the first because Patreon will pay, charge you now and later. Okay. okay. Okay, so don't look to do it. Put a little thing on your calendar. It's just dategirl.org. Okay. But don't join until the first because they're going to charge you $125 a day and they'll mm. charge you $125 on the first. And I don't oh. want, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You'd, do that. You'd have to do that. Okay. Um, but yeah, I would, I, 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 I like you. I Thank like you. you. Thank I you. Like you. The biggest thing for you is just navigating this new space. Mm hmm and making but your but spiritually just everything is a lesson or a blessing like ooh that's 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 good but i can say that the work is still understanding that every man is a step closer to your promise okay. they might not be all of it and don't mm -hmm. let dang he was almost Okay, he was almost. Let's look at the almost. Right. Up and right. the almost wasn't even there. Let's mm -hmm. look at the almost. Okay, God, so what's next? Okay. We okay. got this part. We got this part. Okay, so now I'm ready for that. And live in expectancy, not expectancy with the men, but live in expectancy and excitement. Like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I got this okay. part. I got this part. Yes. Okay. okay. How do you feel? How do you No, feel? I mean I I mean this was this is something I didn't know I needed. And I love it when I get things I I didn't know I needed. I I really did need that. I did because I was all in my head trying to figure out like what do I do? Like what am I doing wrong or, you know. So, I know I really appreciate this. This is giving me a lot to think about. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. I like you, Joyce. Thank like you. Thank All right. You so much. All right. So if you don't have any more questions, if you do no. have another question, please, because you were very patient. So I'm good with going over. You no, good? no, no. I think, you know, I think I'm fine. Um, so so what do you think about me dating younger guys? Do I, I just need to stay at the late 40s though? Well, this is the thing. It's really what they want. Mm -hmm. Because a man at 40 is a grown ass man. Right, right. Right. A man at 45 is still a grown ass man. But right, if he's right. a 45 year old that wants kids. Right. That's a different thing. So instead right. of doing the age thing, mm -hmm. I would say really get in alignment with if your goals in life are this. He might be like he 45. He got a 25 year old because yes. he started at 20 and right. he, well, he got two or three of them and he done. Right. So then that's another level of. So it's it's kind of like when people say, well, Stacy, should I wait three months, six months? You know, because Steve Harvey and people say, I don't live my life in those bubbles. Right. I say yeah. you can you can be with a man six months and mm -hmm. you ain't had no kind of conversation, no kind mm -hmm. of connection. And mm -hmm. just because it's been six months, you got to give him some of your yo yo stuff. No, like, right. what? Where have y'all connected from? Right. What right. have y'all connected? Do you see any alignment? Mm -hmm. Do you see mm -hmm. the character traits that you like? Like mm -hmm. the questions are like, or or you can be with somebody every day for ninety days. Right. Well, shit, you could have gave him some at sixty. Y'all been together every day for ninety <laughs> days. I mean, damn. No, no, you no, you're, no, you're if, right. I mean, you see what I'm so it's really yeah. the time and the conversation. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing. The conversations can't be forced. They mm -hmm. have to be in the flow. So you can't be like, OK, well, shit, I know I'd be horny after six days. Let me find out as much <laughs> as I can about this Negro, because I know I need to be able to know if I'm a given something. That's not it. Right. It needs to be in flow. Right. 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 OK. Right. All mm -hmm. right. Love and light, Joyce. Hopefully Thank I'll you so you much. In my, in my inner circle. Hopefully, if not, I yes. love I love your energy. I feel Thank like you're you. right on course. Yes. Um, that lessons, either a lesson or a blessing. Mwah. I always say no matter the matter, everything. It might pain us as women, but everything serves us for good. Absolutely. Period. Point blank. Everything. And we have to look for what the good is in that and, yeah. and literally live our lives in the good of it, no matter how hard it is. All right. Yes, yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. Love and light, my sister. Have a oh, great day. Thank night. you so much. I'm so Have a good night. evening. You too. Bye, Bye. everybody. <laughs> Yay. Oh my God. Okay, guys. So we are done for the evening. 
Thank you so much. Um, who is this said? Good show. Lacey. Lacey said, good show, Dr. J. Thank you so much, you guys. This has been Anytime Say It. Ramona says, say it, married from your mouth to God's ears. Absolutely. You know, I truly believe every woman deserves to manifest the greatest love story she could have ever imagined. That's why, again, I get up every morning at seven o'clock now to make sure that women are taking good vibes and good energy out into the world with their ideas of love and relationships. So I believe that God can give you a good man and God can give you your money. Um, so yeah, I, that's just my belief. I thank you all for supporting me and, and, and God, we went over tonight, 913. We totally went over, but I did not want to not give Joyce what she deserved. And, um, please follow me on my, YouTube, my Instagram at just date girl at just date girl, as well as I'm doing something in Atlanta. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm flashing. I'm an old lady. I'm doing something in Atlanta called FemniFest, which really connects you to, I, I believe that women, the only th times we think about our vaginas is when we wash them, when we have sex, when we have babies, and when we bleed from them from menstruation. That is disrespectful for your vagina. I'm just saying. The, the, and and, 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 and what, what I feel too is most challenging for most women is we don't really understand the power of our vagina, the energy of her, right? So I'm doing this thing called FemniFest in Atlanta, July 31st. I'm going to do it once a month, hopefully. Um, the first time is July 31st. It's in a yoga studio in Atlanta. I'm going to introduce you all to one of my ways of connecting to my feminine, um, my divine feminine. I've never, ever invited women into this space of how I connect to my feminine energy, one of the ways, but I'm going to do it July 31st. So go to Stacy S-T-A-C-I-I-J-A-E Johnson.com slash Fem, F-E-M dash Nifest, N-I-F-E-S-T. Um, so yeah, we do have some virtual opportunities. If you're not in Atlanta, you can do it that way. And then um, my inner circle, justdategirl.org, justdategirl.org. I want a good man university. Um, please do if you want to look into that. That's the website for that. As well as I have to say, don't forget that we are manifesting good man, good man on my Instagram every Monday through Thursday morning, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, only 15 minutes. That is Good Manifestation Mornings with Dr. Stacey J. We are setting and, and, and setting the tone for manifesting and living, leaving our homes in the vibration and the energy of what a good man can be attracted to instead of all that negative stuff that um, sometimes we live in the energy of that. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, is this on IG? I'm in the ATL. Ramona, no. So this is actually at FemniFest. It's actually going to be in Atlanta at a local. So you literally leave your house, come to this location in Atlanta, and that is going to be FemniFest or... If you want to do it online, if you're not in Atlanta, you can do it. It's only 25. We've actually sold 10. So I only have 15 spots locally left if you want to join us in Atlanta. Um, but you can do it virtually on Zoom as well. I think the Zoom, if you're not in Atlanta, is $40. And then we have um, uh, $60 if you're in Atlanta. And I think we have a VIP if you want champagne and light bites it's 70 or something like that um yeah that's it if you didn't get if you miss all of this or any of it you just dm me child at just date girl okay all right love and light have an amazing night and um i'm so excited to see you guys next wednesday if you do want to join me and be one of the live women on the show please dm me as well at just date girl my my producer leon is now booking for the entire month of July. We usually try two women a night. So we need eight to 10 women for July to coach live. Okay. All right. Love and light. Have a great night. See you guys next week. Bye.